I'm going to show you really quick how to interact with the Uniswap v3 subgraph, but with JavaScript, it's super easy. So the subgraph has pre-indexed data from across Uniswap available for querying. This makes it super fast for you to pull data from almost anything in the Uniswap ecosystem. Factories, tokens, pools, ticks, positions, so on and so on without needing to figure out how to interact with the individual contracts themselves. Of course, you can manually run your queries here in the online tool. You get some data here after running this GraphQL query, but if you need to continuously pull data for a script or a bot to make decisions, then JavaScript is a much better option. Let's write some code. We're going to use Axios to make this request. So const axios equals require axios. And I've already installed this. That's all I've installed. Well, that's all we're actually going to use today. And once we've done that, we'll define the URL that we need to hit. And we can grab this from the Uniswap documentation. So if we look in the Uniswap subgraph introduction in the Uniswap docs, we have this GraphQL endpoint down here under v3. So let's copy that and let's paste that into our code. And now let's write the query. So this is easier if you already know GraphQL, but GraphQL is actually pretty straightforward and you can figure out how it works fairly fast. So here we're going to get information about pools. Um, I'm getting data from pool here, and this information is available, but as I said, there's a lot more information you can potentially pull. Now in pools, I want my data ordered by volume in USD. Um, I'll set the order direction to descending, so the biggest values are at the top, and I'm only gonna grab the, the first 10 pools, but I believe you can pull up to 1,000 at once. Now for the pools that I'm going to be pulling, I want the ID, I want the volume USD, I want liquidity, I want total value locked in USD, and then I'll get some information about token 0 and token 1 in the pool. So for token 0, I'm just going to grab the symbol, and for token 1, I'll also just grab this symbol. Yeah, and that's it for a query. It's going to be pretty basic. I just wanted to show you how you can do it, and then you can build on this and find some interesting use cases yourself. So we'll do Axios post. We'll pass in that URL. In some curly braces, we'll do query, and then we'll pass in our query as the value. Um, and when that returns, so we'll do then, we will take the result of that and we'll just console.log the result. So result.data.data. Let's give this a run in the console. My file's name is getData.js. So we'll do node getData.js. Luckily I didn't make any spelling mistakes. So here we have it. We have the top 10 pools by volume traded in USD. And you could order these by whatever you want. But this can be a really great tool for trying to find specific pools by almost any criteria you can think of. So here I have the pool with the most volume by USD, and then the next pool, and then the next pool. And the ID here is the pool address. So if we copy that, so if we go over to info.uniswap.org, we can click on pools. Let's just open one up. And if we paste the ID in here, it'll take us to that pool. So the pool with the most volume, so the pool with the most volume by value is the USDC over ETH. And that's really how easy it is. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.